Hello again. Now, I don't know if you've been following the uh, recent um, sharpening videos that I've been doing on basic sharpening. Um, I'm covering the diamond stones that I use that I'm so pleased to have all the time. Um, I've got oil stuff as well, just I never see them anymore. Now, the thing with the diamond stones are uh, they do a really good job. They, you can use water on them instead of oil. You never use oil on them. Use water on them instead of oil, so things are kept nice and clean. You just got to watch your tools uh, kept oiled afterwards. Um, but they build up a lot of sludge. Like the, with oil stones, they tend to remove it as you're going. But with diamond stones, it all gets embedded. So you need to know how to preserve these stones, how to bring them back up to standard. They're very expensive. You don't be throwing them away every couple of years because you've neglected it. So in this video, I'm just going to very quickly run through my method of keeping them clean. Now as you can see, very sludgy, they pick up all this horrible dirt and such off of the metal as you're honing tools up. And um, as you're going along, I like to just use water, a scrubber, water, and it gets the bulk of the stuff off. Just keeps it all down. Like so. Um, but in time, it's building up to a point where you can still see it. Look, it's still there. It's still grimy. Um, and that's not just bad appearance. That is actually stopping it working as if it, effectively as it should do. You're clogging up the diamonds. So nothing in, is actually cutting anymore. It's just rubbing over dirt. So you need to be able to bring them back. Now I like this. It's a DMT box that, they, that you buy it as a kit. Um, specially designed. We've got cleaning powder. A brass wire brush and a rubber. Now the rubber is for on the spot instantaneous keep the grime down. You just rub that along and it'll get rid of certain marks that you don't want. Yeah but it doesn't restore it. It's for a routine maintenance. This this is the stuff you want to bring it back to how it was. And the way in which we do it is a little water, a little water, look at that, a little water. Right, a little water and some powder. Probably a bit too much water there. We don't want to. Right, and then we make a paste out of it with this, it's far too much water there. Make a paste out of it with the brush and then just start circular motion all over the stone. Now you saw how bad this stone was before I started it, and it's a very quick process. I'm not gonna spend hours on it. So if you get them that's been bedded in for too long, then you may need a couple of goes at it to bring it back. Like that, you see we've still got some lines in here that need sorting out. I'll put a bit more. Now I'll put a bit too much water with the last one so it doesn't work quite as good if you put a lot of water on. So a bit less water. Mix up the paste. And then give it a good scoop. I think you will agree there, that is now looking like a new stone. Very nice. Yeah, beautiful. And very simple. And we'll do one last one. Right, 
bowed on that one. You do it for a lot longer than this if you want, you just really keep going until you're sure it's nice. Uh, I just want to do it quick to give you an idea of what's to be done. Um, and on the solid steel ones, the same again. Now this one's got well bedded in pieces. I've never used them actually on the steel ones before, so we shall see. Nice, getting there, yeah. It's getting there, but this needs a lot more work now. <laughs> so it's been a long time in coming. As you can see, there they are, lovely. I'll do them ones later. But you can see it does a very nice job of it. Now you need to do that just to keep them nice and sharp. So it's a simple method, maintaining your diamond stones. Get the rubber, and every time you use it, just give it a rub over. It just gets off what's sticking out in there. And then it minimizes the amount of times you have to bring this out if you keep it down. Um, but if you don't, then it's going to build up very quickly. So I would get, make sure you get the rubber out and get that used. Look for the blue pack, DMT. DMT. And the address, dmtsharp.com. I'm not doing a plug for them. I'm just trying to help you. If they want to send me some previews, they can. <laughs> uh, no ones. But anyway, go for that. Nice little handy pouch. If you've got, like I have, um, little stones that you take on site, you can take that with you at home. It's even got a pocket clip. You're going to hang it from your belt? No. Um, very useful, as I say, if you're carrying them around on site as well. So, all kept tightly into one little pouch. And that's it. So, for this session, I think the sharpening is now enough complete. Okay, right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've learned something. Um, if not, shove it in the box and tell me you've not, and I'll do something else. Otherwise, if you've got any questions, any comments, anything, ideas, again, put it in the bottom. Let me know, and I'll try and respond and react to it. But I will reply to you. So leave us a message. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now. I've been up for today.